Now we're out toad hunting again, and a uh, curious thing I just found was a pair in an plexus, which is uh, when the male is clasping tightly to the female so that when she lays the eggs, he's there to uh, inseminate them. What we've got here is a very confused toad. This is a cane toad. You can see that very large triangular ending parotid gland right there. But here on top, we have a southern toad, which is one of our native species. Um, one of the reasons, one of the ways you can tell the difference between the two is, first off, this giant parotid gland that ends with a triangular tip, okay? Whereas the southern toad has fairly oval-shaped parotid glands, and they're nowhere near as highly toxic as, uh, as the cane toads. The other characteristic is the knobs on their heads. You can see, yeah, buddy. You can see here, the southern toad has these two very prominent knobs coming off the top of his head. Okay? The cane toad has no such thing. There's no... I know, buddy. But you're on the wrong thing. Okay? So chill out. Okay, here's some good news. We found this southern toad. Okay, you can see the two, the two nodules right in the top of his head there. One, two. I'll show you a little profile shot there. Okay. And uh, right here, we have a whole cluster of amphibious eggs. I know these are not cane toad eggs because cane toads lay their eggs in uh, string clusters whereas this is more of a globular cluster so that's very good news okay I just found a pair of cane toads that were engaged in implexus so I can show you guys what that looks like see they, they tried to jump away as one he still got that grip on there, you see? And he actually has um, kind of calluses on the inside of uh, his forearm here, which helps to grip with the slimy skin. These two lovebirds ain't letting nothing come in their way. It's pretty cool. If the pond is a rockin', don't come a knockin'.